Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. This is the CKG channel with Kobe Green and it's been a while. It's been a little bit. I took a little break and watched Godzilla vs. Kong mainly only for that reason only. But we're back. We've got a big couple weeks ahead of us. we got Wrestlemania coming up. we got Jake Paul versus Ben Askren and we're going to be covering all of that but Today we're going to be focusing on the Godzilla vs. Kong movie review. Non-spoilers. This is going to be just the Godzilla vs. Kong review with no spoilers at all. <sighs> Let's get into it. So, first off, I wouldn't watch this in theaters. I've seen it three times right now, as far as right now. Sorry. Um... First time was in the theaters, like I said, and I thought the movie was dull, kind of. I mean, like it needed something, and I didn't know what. But, you know, it's like I was putting, by the end of that movie, I was putting, I was putting Kong Skull Island and King of the Monsters. In front of Godzilla vs. Kong. Which, going into that movie, I was like, this is going to be the best Monsterverse movie without a doubt. And, coming out of that theater, it wasn't. I would have gave it a 6.5 at the time. But, I went home and watched it the day after. And, it was like a completely different movie, like... I loved everything about it, and I brought the score up to 8.5, and I reviewed, or scored Godzilla vs. Kong 8.5, my favorite movie almost ever, the best MonsterVerse movie, just by watching it a second time, and I don't know what changed about it, but... That's, I, I don't know, it's just weird. But we watched it. The third time around, it felt like the like the second time, and it, it was good. I'm going to watch it again. So, that makes me think that all the casual viewers viewing this, I wonder if they're viewing it like me, just thinking it's okay movie when I watched it the second time, and it's a freaking... Great movie. I don't understand what was different, but there was definitely something there because it changed my attitude towards this movie a lot. <clears throat> We're going to get started off with the characters and all of the stuff without trying to spoil anything. So let's get into that. We got my favorite characters I want to name off. Um. I don't know his name, but it was a conspiracy theorist with, uh, I don't know his name, and I feel bad for not knowing his name, but I don't know his name, and maybe that says something about the movie, you don't really know much about these characters, but, I'm trying to think of it, <clears throat> but anyway, you know, the conspiracy, conspiracy theorist guy, he works for Apex, and he is trying to figure out what is going on in Apex. And Millie Bobby Brown and Jillian Dennison is teaming up with him to find out what is going on with Godzilla and why is he doing this. What are they doing? I feel like everybody knows by now Mecha Godzilla is in the movie. Uh that's not no spoiler the I, I mean, I would consider it a spoiler. But, you got that. And they're trying to build up to it to find out what is going on. And, the, yeah. And those three, that trio right there, that trio is amazing. I loved, I loved uh, every scene with them. And, yeah, I I don't understand why the fans. I even loved it, loved it when I was in the 
theaters. Like, I love them, the characters. Every single time I've watched it, I love the characters. There was one character I didn't like, and that was, like, the girl that takes care of Gia. I didn't really like her uh, character. But that's like the only character I didn't like. There was some that they could have built up, like Ren Serizawa. Maybe they, maybe they need to, they needed to build him up a little bit more. And, you know, they didn't show him enough. But it was, it was a good movie as far as that, if anything. Uh, and then you got, the fight scenes, which was amazing, especially the Hong Kong, Hong Kong scene, fight scenes, which was like, the, made the movie, like, even in the theaters, I told my friend, I was like, by the ending of that movie, I was like, that, it just makes it one of my favorite movies of all time, just the fight scene, <laughs> I've seen some people saying it didn't live up to the hype, which I disagree with it a lot, because I loved it in the theaters. And I loved it more. When I came home and watched it. And. You know. It's just. It's just a great movie. I, I think this movie is going to make. Like around 600 to 700 million. But I do think they should re-release it. Whenever COVID is. Like. Slim down about to where everybody can go back to theaters and not be scared. And by then, I think it would make around to 900 to a billion, 900 million to a billion dollars if they re released it. But right now, I'm saying it's going to make to 600 to 700 million. It's already passed 300 million, I think, today. And that is pretty crazy. But. I'm happy with it, but I, I'm happy with 600 to 700 million because that's still the highest MonsterVerse in a COVID world. So I'm looking to see if Adam Wingard or Warner Bros or Legendary will be happy with it. Legendary posted and, uh, the hashtag continue the MonsterVerse thing, said it was trending, and that's a good sign. And... I think it should continue. It's, it's does this could be a solo movie by itself and no sequel to it, but there also could be a sequel to it. It's like one of those movies. This was basically Kong's movie, kinda. Um, it was it showed Kong a lot, and I was as a Kong fan, that's like one of the best things for this movie. I think, and it kind of sounds bad. But it, to be honest, instead of Godzilla versus Kong, it should have been Kong versus Godzilla, because Godzilla was the main title and he wasn't the main. I mean, it was like both the main. Uh, it was the both the main title, but Kong was in there more, and Godzilla was the starting thing, like the starting title. So it honestly felt like Kong versus Godzilla instead of Godzilla versus Kong, even though it's just like a little detail thing. They did a lot of stuff in this that represents old older movies, whether it be and games too, whether it be from uh, King Kong's Peter Jackson's uh, video game for PS2 and Xbox 360, I think. <coughs> Maybe PS3 too. I don't know, but I used to play it all the time, and I noticed some things that was from there, especially Hollow Earth. It was amazing, pretty wild though, and. Uh, I hope this movie does well in box office or just money, period, so that this can continue. But that's like the main thing I want for this movie is just to do well so we can continue the MonsterVerse and get uh, another King Kong or an, and, and, and or another Godzilla movie. It would be great. I'm going to be doing a ranking of the MonsterVerse movies. I'm going to do a final battle 
Monsterverse rank video. Like ranking all the final battles. And there's going to be a couple videos coming up. I don't know if it, I'm going to be doing this a lot now because I know I took a big break. And I'm going to get these videos out for you guys. But I don't know if I'll continue. I'm not really a guy for YouTube. I love doing YouTube. And I love my fans. But uh, I don't know if I could do YouTube all the time. But that's going to be all for now. I give this a 8.5 rating movie. You should definitely go watch it. Um, I really enjoyed this movie. And enjoyed it even more the second time watching it. And the third time. So, guys, go check this movie out. I'm going to be watching it either tonight or tomorrow again. Uh, and I'm coming out with some more videos, so subscribe if you want to, and peace.